at Europe spaceport in Kourou, French Guiana, a groundbreaking new European telecommunications satellite is being readied for launch. HILAS-1, short for Highly Adaptable Satellite, has been developed through a partnership between the European Space Agency and Avanti Communications, a commercial satellite operator based in London. As well as conventional telecommunication services, it'll provide broadband internet access to users throughout Europe, a first for a European satellite. HILAS-1 is Europe's first dedicated broadband satellite. It's designed to deliver broadband internet access services to users across Europe. Um, currently, the Commission estimates there are about 20 million households around Europe that can't get a decent quality 2 megabit per second service. And HILAS has been designed specifically to bring them a high quality, low cost service to those households. The adaptable broadband capabilities of HILAS are down to advanced technology developed with support from ESA which allows the satellite to allocate bandwidth to different regions in response to demand. This flexibility means that HILAS will be able to adapt to changing user needs throughout its 15-year life cycle. The payload that provides a coverage uh, over some key market areas uh, at the beginning of the lifetime has uh, a an allocation of resources and this allocation of resources that is the capacity can be changed throughout the lifetime of the spacecraft as the market evolves and this is very important because the operator has a, a, an unparalleled and unprecedented degree of flexibility in his payload and in planning his operations and this is thanks to the technology being developed by um, European uh, space industry that was not available before. Whilst its advanced communications payload was developed in Europe, the satellite platform itself was provided by Antrix Corporation, the commercial arm of the Indian Space Research Organization. It was procured by EADS Astrium, prime contractor for the HILAS program. The relationship between ESA and Avanti Communications, who will operate HILAS-1 from a geostationary position in orbit, represents the first public-private partnership between the space agency and a commercial satellite operator. The public-private partnership that we've established with the European Space Agency has been very important and very successful for us. Uh, in the early days of the project, it helped, it helped us establish credibility with our investors that the mission was viable. And as we've gone along, ESA's technical support has been invaluable in helping us properly manage the complex technical developments that we've had to undertake as part of this mission. The partnership is a creative fast track for demonstrating and reaping the benefits of satellite high technology as part of an operational mission. This project is extremely important for us because it's the first public-private partnership to come to fruition and to reach uh, the European spaceport in French Guiana preparing for launch. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's a means that allow us uh, developing our objectives and technologies and at the same time bringing them to fruition with the fastest track possible. Uh, it's a multiplication effect if you like and uh, joining forces with the operators uh, seems the way to go uh, for the future. HILAS-1 provides a real example of ESA's ability to support European industry by developing and demonstrating a series of innovative new payload technologies. It also proves the case for low-cost satellite-delivered broadband services across Europe, meeting the demands of underserved markets that can't be met by terrestrial networks alone.